This is Kai Studio, my name is Kai Yuan. Today we're going to share with guys the A7CR, the image sensor quality. We're just talking about the sensor. We're not going to talk about the autofocus, the function, just about the sensor, the dynamic range, the low light test, the image noise ratio, all kinds of little details about the sensor. So let's get started. So first we're going to test the photo dynamic range at ISO 100. So if you underexpose four stop and recover in post, you will start to notice some chroma noise in the shadow. And if you underexpose five stops of light, there will be so much grain and noise in your image. And obviously underexpose six stops of light, your image will totally fall apart. So how about overexpose? So you can overexpose two stops of exposure, no any highlight clips in this image. But overexpose three stops of exposure, the highlight part is already clipped. And some color will shift into some orange weird color. And I also test the dynamic range of the extend ISO, ISO 50. So so the results is pretty much the same compared to ISO 100. You just sacrifice one stop of highlight and put that one stop into the shadow so you can get one stop cleaner shadow but your highlight will clip one stop faster. So if you want to use the extend ISO just be careful of your highlight it will clip easily. Next we're going to test the photo low light test. So if you ask me I will not push the ISO above 3200 because at ISO 6400 the shadow details start to be like a little bit mushy. And there is another mode is the pixel shift mode I want to share with you guys. So you can select take four photos in a row or 16 photos in a row and stitch it with a Sony software and you will get a gigantic photo. So if you really need this pixel shift function, I think the four picture stitching is already pretty good. I don't recommend to use the 16 photo stitching. First, you will not get more details in your image. You will just get a larger photo size. And second, if you use 16 photos stitching mode, you will start to see some weird artifact in your photo, even in the studio setup. But from original one shot photos to four picture stitching in pixel shift mode, you really can get some impressive details in your pictures. And next we're going to test the video dynamic range in S-Log3 at the first native ISO 800. So if you overexpose four stops of exposure, the highlight part is already a little bit clipped. But after five stops of overexpose, you will definitely notice the highlight details is missing. And when underexposed, I think two stop is already so noisy the shadow detail is missing lots of luma noise in the shadow but if you really underexpose three stops i think the image is totally unusable there's no any details in the shadow anymore and next we're going to test the second native iso 2500 so it's pretty much the same if you overexpose four stops nothing really happens but if you overexpose five stops your highlight will definitely clip underexpose two stops of light is already a little bit noisy underexpose three stops of light it will start to be unfixable so these two native iso the dynamic range is pretty much the same so if you are shooting in pretty low light environment. Just stick with the second native ISO 2500. Next we're going to test the low light test in the video mode. It's auto applying some kind of noise reduction inside the camera and bake into this image and we cannot turn it off manually. Even at 25,600 ISO, the maximum ISO in video mode, the image still looks so clean. But if you take a closer look at the shadow detail, you will find out we just lose so much shadow details. If you want the best quality, I will recommend just shoot under 6400 ISO in video mode. This is everything I want to share about this image sensor inside this A7CR. So if you like this video, press like. Make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more future content. This is Kai Studio. My name is Kai Yuan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.